Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. we got a full moon April 5th. It'll be beautiful midweek next week. Sunspots have been very active, so have the Northern Lights. They've been photographed all the way down to, uh, not Hawaii, but Florida. Uh, we could have easily seen them here in Colorado that night, except that was one of our snowy nights. Drought it was at its worst, like I said last week, November 25th, uh, 2020, and now it is that much better, and just a little worsening of the drought here in uh, Larimer County, but we just got a bunch of precipitation with the snow at the beginning of the week. We'll talk about that, so that should push that back again. A little lessening of the drought in uh, Oregon, and a little worsening on the plains here. Lots of drought relief across the nation. Uh, the snowpack is incredible, and this, I believe, counts the Monday snow, Sunday, Monday snow, because it goes shooting up that close. For this date, it's almost a record high amount of snow. It's 100, basically 140% above normal statewide. Some basins are better than others. Looking at the overall snow amount up to Monday morning at 7, and an additional inch or two fell across most of these same areas, so it's a little higher. But you see here areas 6.7 to 10, 10 to 11 in here around Longmont. Uh, we have the 2 to 6s and one little orange dot there for you know, 6.7 to 9.9. We can zoom in and see 6.8 there in northern Longmont. I think that's on 66 or a little bit north of there. But uh, yeah, for the most part, really surprise healthy snow. A belt of convergence set up right through here. The low is pushing moisture in, and we had winds from the southwest, or northwest, I think, and uh, just collided there and kept going much stronger than almost anybody got. A few models kind of hinted at near that area, but not that pattern. Boulder did much less in the two-inch area. That amount of moisture for this last week was really favored the mountains of northern Colorado with widespread half-inch, two-inch amounts of liquid. Smoke, not much to talk about, with the west being so moist, it just isn't much of a problem there. Welcome to the severe weather uh, animation returning. Uh, we start in uh, late March here and watch it the normal region of highest probability of severe weather uh, migrate throughout the spring and into the early summer. So that's where we expect the highest area. Looking at Wednesday, quiet in that area. A few thunderstorms in the west with another storm coming in. Yet another. I've seen most of the reservoirs are topping now in California. So even a lake that has been dry for like 47 years is uh, filling up again. Uh, we get the marginal risk to mile in that area and then a very major uh, severe weather event for see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Friday, um, the Ohio Valley, uh, Tennessee, uh, all the way through here, the Mississippi is, you know, see a lot of severe weather, a lot of tornadoes. So bad news out there. Look at the Wednesday surface forecast, quiet in Colorado, some snow and precipitation out west. Going to Thursday, we have a little system coming in with a chance of showers. I'm not giving it much. Uh, we do have lots of wind and dry conditions, so we will have a red flag fire danger. Uh, basically, Denver and south and to the east. This doesn't really cover where the red flag is set up. And then for Friday, we have mountain snows again, but dry on the plains. Looking at our normals, 58 to 60 is the climb of the normal high temperature, 30 to 31, almost up to freezing for our expected low. Here's our Thursday, Friday, tiny chance of showers. And then a more significant, longer lasting system for Tuesday, Wednesday, into maybe Thursday next week. So that'll be interesting to see what we get out of it. Things are getting warmer, so you've got to get cold air and moisture to get a good snowstorm now. In the water vapor satellite loop, you can see the low out west, the jet stream, tropical moisture coming up in and like that. Uh, see the ridge here and then going up to the ridge beyond. And for Thursday, but pretty much that same pattern, that uh, trough out there migrates in for us, maybe giving us some lift. 
uh, moisture most from the mountains again. They got the ridge heading out. And for precipitation, it's a western slopes area. Just keep getting snow, more for California. For Tuesday is our next big event, a much larger, slower moving, kind of cutoff trough. We'll see how cutoff it gets. The cutoff lows travel more slowly. And lines are here close to the other, so the jet stream winds are strong. So it was actually a frame before and after this. We'll see it in the animation. But this is a pretty long and pretty healthy snow. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put it into motion. Here comes the first trough for into Friday, zipping on by. Ridge comes in for the weekend, giving us very warm temperatures. It's going to be a beautiful weekend again. We're back to a nice weekend pattern. Sunday into Monday, zonal flow west to east. Then that thing starts to carve in and cut off right there. And Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it's finally past us. Little piece gets left behind in the southwest. Probably give them some showers. Don't think it's going to give us much. Big ridge in the west. This big ridge in the west is going to give the California a break. We may get some time without precipitation happening there. So we are warm for the short term. Then this little, little system comes through. Cold front right there. Friday uh, doesn't last long. The warmth builds in quickly for the weekend. Above normal temperatures are red. We got cold air lurking north of us, and there's a little cold front on Monday, but it gets pushed back, watered out, then a stronger push comes down <coughs> for midweek into the end of next week. It'll be quite cold again. Looking at precipitation, this first system for Thursday, Friday, it mainly hits the mountains, stuff reforms to our northeast and away basically Nebraska. We're high and dry for the weekend. Zone will flow at this time. And you can see the boundary of that cold air. You got snow and then a low really cranks up here. There's one, two, three, three periods of six hours in length where snow is hanging out over northern Colorado. There's that little system that goes to Arizona to the south. That should stay pretty far away from us. So for the next five days, should remain dry on the plains. More mountain precipitation. Looking at snow up to a foot here in places, and then very little out on the plains, a spot or two. Uh, over the next 10 days, we do get some moisture on the plains, and it might be a temperature thing that we don't get a huge amount of snow, but the gradient is very sharp coming in close to the mountains. So we are coming from the 40s, jump to the 60s on Thursday, a little cold front on Friday. Tiny chance of showers giving it 15%. Very warm weekend. We might break 70, that's possible, on Sunday. We'll see. And then we start to cool down Monday, and then our rain into possible snow. Pretty good chance on Tuesday. A new month starts, so the not-so-reliable NOAA forecast gives the south and the east lots of heat and below normal temperatures in the west. Equal chance of here for precipitation. Finally dry in the southwest, if it's true. Equal chances for us and like that. Uh, taking a look at the next 10 days of, or this is 14 days, of snow in the west. And rather than 40, 50, 60, or 100 inches, I got to see a foot and 22 inches and 20 inches in there, 17 inches down here. So yeah, it's still snowing and the mountains are still piling up and uh, houses are being buried and shops are being buried, but that's um, the way it is. Longmont leader, Broomfield leader for frequent weather updates. Uh, this has been Chief Meteorologist John Minsworth. Keep looking up.